so a very good morning to all of you guys and welcome back once again to another session of pib current affairs where we are going to discuss some more questions from the pib news which are relevant for all the government exams so bahut sari news pib mein aa gayi thi so i decided to take a session on tuesday also and tomorrow also there will be a session on wednesday generally jo time table hai classes ka that is on monday wednesday friday 8 am but kyunki bahut sari news thi so i decided ki ek session aur extra ho jayega to koi pareshani nahi hai usme Let's begin with the session. But before we begin, if you are coming here for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon. You can also join this Telegram group. Second, what is it? Yes, you can also join this Telegram group. Here you will get the PDF of this session after the session is completed, and you can also follow me here. Here also you can ask any doubt. So let's move ahead to the very first question, which says, consider the following statements with respect to. National seminar on startups in IU sector, which is IU Rudhya Mahe, and you have to identify the correct statement. So remember, guys, the news is that the Union Ayush Minister and who is the Ayush Minister? It's Mr. Sarvanand Sonwal has released a report, which is Research and Information System report, and the title of the report is what? IU sector in India prospects and challenges. IU sector in India prospects and challenges is the title of the report that has been launched by. Uh, Union Ayush Minister Mr. Sarbanand Sonowal, and this report was launched during a national seminar on startups in IU sector, and the title of the seminar was IU Rudhya Mahe. Okay. Also remember, All India Institute of Ayurveda Incubation Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship was also launched. An incubation center for innovation and entrepreneurship was launched at All India Institute of Ayurveda, which is located in New Delhi. ये न्यू दिल्ली में सरिता विहार में एक जगह है वहां पे है ये एंड ऑफ कोर्स दिस विल प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट टू द स्टार्टअप्स एंड ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स इन द एरिया ऑफ आयुष सेक्टर इट इज एन इनक्यूबेशन सेंटर टू प्रमोट द स्टार्टअप्स इन आयुष सेक्टर और राइट मूविंग एड टू अदर लॉन्चेस सो इन ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ आयुर्वेदा अ ब्लड बैंक अ ब्लड बैंक अ बाल रक्षा किट एंड अ इम्यूनिटी बूस्टर स्वर्ण प्राशन वाज लॉन्च फॉर चिल्ड्रन ठीक है ये लॉन्चेस इतने इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है बट यस अगर कोई न्यूज हम पढ़ रहे हैं सो वी शुड गो इनटू द डिटेल्स ऑफ दैट न्यूज सो अ ब्लड बैंक बाल रक्षा किट एंड एन इम्यूनिटी बूस्टर व्हिच इज नोन एज स्वर्ण प्राशन हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड फॉर चिल्ड्रन ओके एंड दीस आर सम ऑफ द अदर अनाउंसमेंट दैट हैव बीन मेड थ्रू द रिपोर्ट नंबर 1 इज दैट द आईयू सेक्टर हैज ग्रोन बाय 17% फ्रॉम द ईयर 2014 टू 2020 2014 से लेके 20 के बीच में द आईयू सेक्टर हैज ग्रोन बाय 17% Also, the industry is projected to reach 20.6 billion dollars in this year 2021, and in the next year 2022, it will reach to 23.3 billion dollars. All right, and overall percentage की बात करें of the India's IU sector with respect to the global IU sector, it is 2.8 percent. So India's IU market accounts for about 2.8 percent of the global IU market, as cited by this report. All right. So this was about this news, and now let's come back to the question. You have to identify correct statements here. During the occasion, incubation center for innovation and entrepreneurship was launched at All India Institute of Ayurveda. This is absolutely correct. IU sector has grown by 27 percent. Is that so? It has grown by 27 percent. No, it has grown by grown by 17 percent. So this statement is incorrect. As per the report, India is India's Ayush market accounts for about 2.8 percent of the global market. That's absolutely correct. One and three guys should be the correct answer. Option C. Option C. Only one and three is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number two. Consider the following statements with respect to India's achievement in agriculture sector as announced by Union Minister of Agriculture. Who is the Union Minister of Agriculture? Narendra Singh Tomar. narendra singh tomar during national conference on international year on fruits and vegetables and remember the year 2021 has was announced by united nation as the international year on fruits and vegetable and on india's request the year 2023 has been uh, has been selected as the international year of millets 2023 jo hoga that will be observed as the international year of millets on the request of india so you have to identify the incorrect statement out of these three so let's talk about the news so union ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare has organized international conference on international uh, conference on international year of fruits and vegetables 
इन कोलैबोरेशन विद फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ठीक है एफ एज हेडक्वार्टर इन रोम इन रोम यू विल ऑल्सो फाइन दर्डर ऑफ वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम विच गॉट द नोबल पीस प्राइज दिस ईयर एंड करेंटली आर प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज ऑल्सो इन रोम रोम इटली इज प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज मिस्टर मारियो ड्रागी मारियो ड्रागी इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इटली Now this conference was organized as a part of the celebration of International Year on Fruits and Vegetable 2021 as declared by United Nation Organization. The theme was awareness about the nutritional benefit of fruits and vegetable for balanced and healthy diet and lifestyle. No need to remember the theme. Itni lambi lambi themes kabi bhi exam mein nahi puchi jati so you do not have to remember this theme. Now the minister announced the minister cited some of the achievements of India in agricultural sector. वो हमारे लिए इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाती है नंबर वन ही साइटेड दैट इंडिया इज द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर इन दी वर्ल्ड प्रोड्यूसिंग अबाउट 12 परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल फ्रूट एंड वेजिटेबल जो पूरी दुनिया में फ्रूट एंड वेजिटेबल प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है उसका लगभग 12 परसेंट इंडिया में प्रोड्यूस होता है एंड दैट एंड दैट इज वाई इंडिया इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर इन दी हॉर्टिकल्चर सेक्टर इंडिया इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ मैंगो बनाना गोवा पपाया लेमन लाइमन ओकरा India is the second largest producer of potato, tomato, onion, cabbage, cauliflower, and brinjal. Okay, so these are some of the achievements. Also, he cited that under the horticulture cluster development scheme, twelve clusters have been identified. Basically, this scheme, this program has been implemented in the twelve clusters out of total fifty-three clusters across the country. Under National Bee and Honey Mission, a honey testing laboratory has been established. Was established at a place Anand, which is in Gujarat. and also a madhi uh, a portal which is known as madhu kranti portal was launched for what for testability of honey and other bee hive products theek hai so these are some of the achievements in the horticulture sector or in the agriculture sector of uh, the country as cited by the minister of agriculture and farmers welfare during the conference on international year of fruits and vegetables so let's come back to the question then we have to identify incorrect statement here India is the largest producer of horticulture in the world. Is that so? No, India is not the largest. India is the second largest. Now, can you tell me which country is the largest horticulture producer? Can you please write down in the comments? नहीं पता होगा तो I will tell you in the next class. Next class, don't worry. India's production of horticulture is about ten percent, twelve percent of the global fruit and vegetable production. Correct. Under horticulture cluster development program, twelve clusters have been identified. This is also correct. But we have to identify incorrect statements. So option D only one will be the correct answer because India is not the largest. India is the second largest producer of horticulture. And you have to tell me which country is the largest producer of horticulture. Moving ahead to question number three, which of the following organizations has organized a corporate unity march to disseminate unity of corporate India towards inclusive development, good corporate governance, and responsible business conduct? In this news, guys, you just have to remember the name of this march, which is Corporate Unity March. And objective is not to go through this. And you also have to remember which organization has organized this. Okay? And this was organized on account of National Unity Day, National Unity Day, which was on 31st of October. It was it was the birthday of the great Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. And this Corporate Unity March was organized by Indian Institute of corporate affairs which is a think tank under the ministry of external affairs ministry sorry ministry of corporate affairs not external affairs ministry of corporate affairs ke andar ye ek think tank hai and who is the minister of corporate affairs by the way it's the finance minister only nirmala sitaraman option e is the correct answer question number 4 minister of earth science who is the minister dr jitendra singh dr jitendra singh and he is also the minister of science and technology is lok sabha constituency is udhampur has launched india's first manned ocean mission samudrayaan at chennai under the mission a manned submersible is being developed to carry out deep ocean exploration of the non living resources you have to name the submersible theek okay? hai that's very easy uh, question abhi is mission ke bare mein more details hame nahi pata hai so basic details they have provided through the pib in future definitely they will be providing uh, more details regarding this mission So India's first, India's first manned ocean mission, Samudrayaan, has been launched by Dr. Jitendra Singh at Chennai. Do remember that from where this uh, mission was launched, and who has launched this mission? Dr. Jitendra Singh has launched it. The name of the mission and from where it has been launched. Okay. 
नाउ व्हाट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मिशन इस मिशन का ऑब्जेक्टिव होगा कुछ यस इट विल फैसिलिटेट बेसिकली अ वेसल अ व्हीकल अ सबमर्सिबल अ मैन व्हीकल विल बी डेवलप्ड अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर मिशन एंड दैट व्हीकल विल फैसिलिटेट द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्थ साइंसेस इन कैरी आउट द डीप एक्सप्लोरेशन मिशन डीप ocean exploration of the non living resources like for example gas hydrates hydrothermal sulfides etc inke bare mein janne ki koi zarurat nahi hai just remember this is for deep ocean exploration of the non living resources and for that a, sub, a manned submersible is being developed under this mission okay and this exploration will be done at a depth between 1000 to 5500 meters theek hai 1000 se leke 5500 meter ke beech mein ye jo deep uh, डीप ओशन एक्सप्लोरेशन है किया जाएगा ना जो जो अन जो मैंड सबल है दैट इज बींग डेवलप इज नोन एज मच से सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड इट्स डिजाइनिंग इज कम्प्लीटेड एंड इट विल बी रियलाइज इन फ्यूचर एंड बहुत सारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जैसे इसरो डी आर डी ओ ये सभी मदद करी है उसको कंप्लीट करने में उसको बनाने में एंड विद द लॉन्च ऑफ दिस मिशन गाइज रिमेंबर इंडिया हैज लॉन्च इंडिया हैज ज्वाइंट the elite club of usa russia japan france and china to have such underwater vehicles for carrying out the deep ocean exploration all right and this much as 6000 will be uh, ready for trials by the up to by the second quarter of 2024 2024 ke second quarter tak it will be ready for the trial so in this particular news you just have to remember what is the name of the mission who has launched it from where it has been launched and what is the objective of course and the name of the manned submersible which is being developed under this mission that is much as 6000 so the correct answer will be what option a much as 6000 much as 6000 is the name of the submersible which is being developed under the india's first manned ocean mission samudrayaan <coughs> moving ahead to question number 5 which program has been launched by the ministry of electronics and it in collaboration with nascom to create an upskilling or reskilling ecosystem in 10 emerging technologies thus emerging technologies mein upskilling or reskilling ke liye a program has been launched by ministry of electronics and it which is headed by mr ashwini vaishnav and he is also the railway minister ye railway minister bhi hai uh, with nascom theek hai yes this program has been launched in collaboration with nascom and the name of the program guys is prime The Prime program has been launched by Ministry of Electronics and IT in collaboration with NASCOM, and the objective is to upskill or reskill, uh, is to basically develop an upskilling or reskilling ecosystem in ten emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, virtual reality, uh, machine learning. In सभी में जो अलग-अलग areas हैं, उस areas में upskilling और reskilling का conduct किया जाएगा, उसके training programs conduct किए जाएंगे under this program, which is known as Prime program. it will facilitate continuous enhancement of skills of the it it sector employees it will also provide uh, training to the government officials so that they can also have the brief knowledge of all the new emerging technologies in the world and the private sector will be roped in as the training financial and employment stakeholder for implementing this particular program which is known as prime so in this particular news kya kya cheeze yaad rakhni hai name of the program of course the ministry which is the ministry of electronics and it the organization with which uh, jiske sath collaborate karke this program has been launched and of course the uh, objective theek okay? hai so let's come back to the question now the correct answer will be option b prime prime is the correct answer prime program has been launched by ministry of electronics and it in collaboration with nascom to create an upskilling or reskilling ecosystem in 10 emerging technologies let's move ahead to question number 6 Seven proposals have been approved under the scheme for creation of infrastructure for agro processing cluster of Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samvada Yojana in states or UPs of Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, and Dash. You have to fill this gap. This is very interesting question. See, this type of question comes when the exam is very difficult. Because this question is regarding a component of a scheme, and that also, and in that also, this question is regarding. seven approvals that have been made under that component so this is quite difficult question but chalo ab hamari nazar mein aa gaya hai to abhi hamare hamare liye difficult nahi raha hai so remember the minister of food processing uh, industry and who is that pashupati paras has chaired the interministerial approval committee and this 
this committee uh, this committee was formed to give approval received under the scheme for creation of infrastructure for agro processing cluster under pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana and remember seven proposals seven proposals have been approved with a total cost of 216.489 crores agar ye amount yaad ho jata hai that is well and good otherwise there is no issue this although this is important for the upcoming nabard mains 216.489 crores ka total approval hai and this these approvals have been made in seven states chatisgarh andhra pradesh maharashtra rajasthan uttar pradesh and tamil nadu six states sorry 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 yes yeah, six states seven proposals okay chatisgarh andhra pradesh maharashtra rajasthan uttar pradesh and tamil nadu are the six states where this where these seven approvals have been uh, made by the minister of food processing industry pashupati paras so the correct answer would be guys what chatisgarh andhra pradesh maharashtra rajasthan uttar pradesh and tamil nadu option e will be the correct answer moving ahead to question number 7 name the product that has been launched by ministry of food processing and industry food processing industry of course headed by bhushpati paras in association with nafed under one district one product now this is what one district one product nafed ka unka kya alag hai yes there was an mou that was signed under the prime minister formalization of micro food processing enterprises scheme there is a scheme i believe you all know prime minister micro food processing enterprises scheme if you do not know anything about this scheme search for government schemes on a general you can find all the details of this scheme or yes scheme maine bahut detail mein cover ki hui hai on the youtube so under this scheme there was an mou that was signed by uh, signed between ministry of food processing industry and nafed and this mou was signed for developing 10 uh, uh, 10 selected one district one products 10 products under the one district one product campaign theek hai so ye jo mou tha isme kya tha for developing 10 brands of the selected odops under the branding and marketing component of the scheme and this this delhi bakes delhi bakes is the very first product under the one uh, district one product campaign of uh, this minister of food processing industry under this mou is mou ke under jo pehla product hai wo launch hua hai aur uska naam kya hai delhi bakes and delhi bakes remember guys as the name suggests it is a bakery product category under the pradhan mantri formalization of micro food processing enterprise in of course as the name suggests this one district one product product belongs to delhi ye product kahan se belong karta hai delhi ko belong karta hai naam kya hai iska delhi bakes okay so let's come back to the question the very first product under odop is option a delhi bakes delhi bakes is the correct answer Let's move ahead to question number eight. Which of the following institutes of CSIR has developed indigenous mechanized scavenging system for sewerage maintenance at CSIR National Physical Laboratory? Again, very basic question. In this also, you just have to remember that which organization has launched this. उसके अलावा नहीं पूछा जाएगा. And uh, this manual mechanized scavenging system is for what? For sewerage maintenance. And it has been developed at CSIR National Physical Laboratory by CSIR Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute which is located in Durgapur which is located in Durgapur West Bengal okay and it is the same place where world's largest solar solar tree was also installed last year so option A Simeri Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute is the correct answer let's move ahead to question number 9 then which is the last question and one of the very important question definitely a question is coming Uh, from this report in your exam what percent of india's population is devoid of any health insurance according to niti aayog report health insurance for india's missing middle health insurance for india's missing middle report has been launched by niti aayog and according to that report how many percentage of uh, uh, indian population is devoid of any health insurance theek hai to baat karte hain is report mein kya kya hai जी सबसे पहले उन्होंने बताया है पूरा हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस के बारे में अबाउट दी हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस कवरेज इन दी कंट्री नंबर वन पॉइंट इज दैट एक्सपेंशन ऑफ हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इज अरी स्टेप एंड अ पाथ वे इफ इंडिया वांट्स टू अचीव द यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज अगर इंडिया यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज के टारगेट्स को अचीव करना चाहता है देन हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इज वन ऑफ द नेसेसरी स्टेप्स एंड फॉर दैट लो गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन हेल्थ हैज कंस्ट्रेंड द कैपेसिटी एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ हेल्थ केयर सर्विसेज गवर्नमेंट की जो एक्सपेंडिचर लो है towards the healthcare services that is a main constraint 
Number two, low financial protection leads to high out of pocket expenditure from the citizens. Citizens का और जो out of pocket expenditure है on the health is very much high and that is why they are not taking the health insurance because already उनका out of pocket expenditure बहुत ज़्यादा high है. And health insurance is an indispensable tool to reduce such high expenditure. They are not taking the uh, insurance because of high out of pocket expenditure and at the same time if, if they would take the insurance that will act as a tool which can reduce their high out of pocket expenditure. Now this is not a middle man to a missing middle man. Now we will missing middle ka matlab bhi samjhenge, don't worry. Next the report says that at least 30% of the population or approximately 40 crore individuals in the country which is known as the missing middle in this report are devoid of any financial protection with respect to the health insurance as they are devoid of any type of health insurance the 30 percent of the population which is approximately 40 crore are devoid of devoid of any type of health insurance and this 30 percent population is known as what missing middle isi ko kya bolte missing middle bolte now the report says that ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana provides health insurance protection to around 50 percent of the population okay 50 percent of the population Around 20% of the population in the country are covered through other, other social security health insurance schemes. Okay, जो 20% है, वो दूसरी schemes में cover हो जाते हैं. अब जो बच गए 30%, the rest 30% is devoid of any kind of health insurance and this uncovered population is known as what? Missing middle. ठीक है, इसी को हम क्या बोलते हैं? Missing middle. Also, this missing middle predominantly constitutes the self-employed. The agriculture and non-agriculture people in the rural areas and also informal, semi-informal and formal in urban areas basically it, consist, it constitutes uh, people, citizens from each and every sector. Har society se isme log hai jinke paas kisi bhi tarike ka insurance abhi bhi nahi hai. And this is a huge number guys, 30%, around one third of the population uh, do not have any kind of insurance. Now why the missing middle is missed? The question is why the missing middle is missed? Why this 30% this population is not having any kind of insurance? What is the reason? Number one, most of the health insurance schemes and products in the market are not designed for the missing middle. Most of these health insurance products, hai, these are not designed for the missing middle. Why? Uh, what is the loophole? What is the problem with, with those products? Problem is that the premiums are very high. And the other problem is that सोशल सिक्योरिटी स्कीम्स है लाइक प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना इसमें क्या होगा कि ये जो स्कीम्स होंगी ये बिल्कुल लोअर पीपल मतलब ऐसे लोगों के लिए होंगी जो कि बहुत ज्यादा गरीब है तो मिसिंग मिडिल जो है वो उसमें भी नहीं आता और हाई प्रीमियम्स वाली वो जो जो इंश्योरेंस है वो भर नहीं पाता तो वो रह जाता तो हमेशा जो मार पड़ती है आपने सुना होगा में से जो मिडिल क्लास की पड़ती है वही वाला वही सेम चीज यहां पे भी बताई गई है इस रिपोर्ट में प्राइवेट वॉलंटरी हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इज डिजाइन फॉर हाई इनकम ग्रुप्स ठीक है it costs at least two to three times the affordable cost, affordable level for the middle class. And number three, affordable contributory products such as ESIC and the government subsidized insurance like Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana are closed products. These are designed for only, only a certain section of the society or just make middle class cover nahi ho paata. So this is the reason why middle class is missed. Okay, moving ahead. So how the situation can be improved? Number one, increasing private voluntary contributory health insurance product. And this can be done by developing awareness among the, among the missing middle that you have to, that you should take the health insurance. They have to, you should take the insurance products because that will reduce your out of pocket expenditure. And this can also be done by reducing the insurance premiums. Jo insurance premiums unko kam kiya ja sakta hai, government can top to the private insurance and, uh, so that they can reduce the insurance premium so that the insurance premiums can be made affordable for the missing middles okay then government of role of government government role hai. government should expand the coverage of Pradhan Mantri Janarokya Yojana if they know that the middle class that or you can say a certain section of people cannot afford the prices of high uh, insurance premium or they are not under the uh, under the beneficiary criteria of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana, then they should expand that. Okay? They can also, you know, they can also tell the insurance companies, the private insurance companies, they can say that you have to reduce your insurance premium. 
Number three, convergence of public and private agencies. So we have to develop certain public-private partnership models if we want to provide coverage to all the to, uh, if we want to provide the coverage of health insurance to all the people of the country. Okay. Now, ये वाला जो पूरा का पूरा report था, देखो इसमें से objective question बनना is quite difficult. जो objective question बन सकता है, वो मैंने बना लिया है. या फिर एक क्वेश्चन ये भी बन सकता है कि विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज रिलीज दिस रिपोर्ट द आंसर वुड बी नीति आयोग दीज पॉइंटर्स गाइस आर वेरी गुड पॉइंटर्स दीज पॉइंटर्स कैन बी यूज्ड इन एसेस दीज पॉइंटर्स कैन बी यूज्ड इन योर डिस्क्रिप्टिव आंसर्स और सर्टेन कोई एक क्वेश्चन भी आ सकता है बेस्ड ऑन द नीति आयोग रिपोर्ट जो मिडिल क्लास है उनके अंदर हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस का कवरेज इतना कम क्यों है इस तरीके से कोई क्वेश्चन आ सकता है ठीक है सो यू कैन यूज दीज पॉइंटर्स इन योर डिस्क्रिप्टिव part of your exam so the correct answer guys will be what uh, the question is what percentage of india's population is devoid so that's 30% which is approximately 40 crore population of the country is devoid of any health insurance so this was about this session i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you tomorrow kal bhi session hoga thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless